Hi friends, welcome back to La Cocina de Janet. So today I am going to be showing you how I make my carne molida con papa, which is ground beef and potato with a really yummy salsa, a little bit of a stew type of um, feel to it, but it's delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and start with about two pounds of ground beef. I went ahead and picked up the 93% lean, whichever one you choose is really up to you. I chose this one because I didn't want to have to drain um, the meat with the excess oil. So I went with that. Here I have about two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. It does not change the flavor of the dish, so feel free to use any type of oil that you have readily available in your pantry. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in this um, heated pan. I have it at about medium high. I will turn it down um, after I add all my spices. So I have garlic salt, pepper, sea salt, and this complete seasoning. You guys need that in your life. It has everything and it's delicious. So I've already sprinkled um, about a tablespoon of each over the top of the meat and I've stirred it in nicely. And I'm just gonna lower the temperature to medium and let it cook slowly. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my actual salsa that I'm going to be adding to the meat. So I have two tomatoes, about half of an onion, two jalapeno peppers, uh, a nice handful of cilantro, and then I have three garlic cloves. I'm gonna chop this in smaller pieces, throw it directly in my blender, add salt and pepper, blend it up, and then um, I added about two cups of water to the vegetables in the blender. So this is about how saucy it came out. So I added it all to the meat. I am gonna add more water, because like I said, this is a little bit of like a stew type of dish. So um, even though this may seem like it's a lot of water right now, I am going to be adding potatoes and then the ratio of meat, potato, and sauce um, is going to be perfect. So if you, add, if you add water to this and you're like, gosh, this is a lot of water, don't panic. It'll all come together once you add your potatoes in there. So I added a total, I added about two cups of water to the salt to the vegetables to make the salsa and then I went ahead and added about another two two and a half uh, cups of water so here since I've added more water I'm gonna adjust my seasoning I don't know if you can tell but I'm sprinkling a little bit of salt and I do not have the clip where I added two tablespoons of chicken bouillon make sure you add that at this um, stage as well so here you can see everything's kind of starting to heat up and come together. It's looking really, really tasty. So now that we've gotten to this point, this is about 10 minutes in after I've added the water, adjusted the seasoning. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel two large potatoes. I usually do one potato per pound of meat. So since I'm doing two pounds of ground beef, I'm gonna go ahead and do two potatoes. I peel all the skin off and then I kind of just chop them um, in random little shapes. Honestly, I, I do like one edge of the potato and then I turn it and do the other edge and um, not really thin, not really thick. You go too thin or you try to do small cubes, it's going to end up mush, um, but you don't want them too thick kind of bite size and random little pieces as you can see here will work. I'm going to go ahead and add all of these raw potatoes to the meat. You can see it there. Now you can see it's the perfect um, combination, the perfect ratio. It's nice and soupy which is the type of dish that this is but it's not overly soupy. So now all you need is for these potatoes to cook. That'll roughly take about 10 maybe 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes. You overcook those potatoes, they're gonna be mushy, falling apart, and your dish just isn't gonna be the same. Go ahead and cover it and let it cook. Like I said, 10 to 12 minutes should do the trick. Here you can see a little bit of a boil on the edges. It just means it's nice and hot. The potatoes, feel free to take one out, taste it as soon as it's nice and tender. Cut the fire off and it's pretty much ready to go. I'm showing you here, every time I scoop it, you can see that you get a nice amount of meat with a good amount of potato and you get enough of the sauce and the juice that goes with this dish. This is really, really tasty. Let me tell you, I usually eat it with like uh, tortilla chips on the side. I'll put a spoonful of meat, you know, and potato and take a little bite of a chip, but you can have it by itself. You can have it with tortillas on the side, take a little bite of a tortilla, eat it however you like, but 
Um, I do serve this in a bowl and I do add a little bit of the juice and then you are good to go. That's it. I've turned off the um, heat now and I've served myself a bowl and this is kind of what it looks like. Very, very delicious. At the end, the jalapenos that I used were not that spicy, so I did add a sprinkle of chili pepper flakes just because I wanted it to be spicier. That's all up to you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your love and your support. I hope you love this dish, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.